As IT teams, we are often required to create technical specifications of the apps that we develop. In our systems, this can be automated by using a plugin. In this video, I'll show you this plugin. To access this plugin, you need to go to Forge. Forge is where a lot of uh, reusable plugins are already available for you to use. Uh, look for a plugin called Outdoc. That's the name. Uh, if you notice, I'm accessing the Forge over my browser. So uh, feel free to use it if you'd like to use it like this. If you're already logged in, you're also able to create, click on the plugin. That's the one, Outdoc. And uh, install directly in your IDE, or even you can download this for a later installation. What this does basically, it allows you to uh, auto-generate the application documentation, which is more of technical in nature. It has data model diagrams, references, information about the processes, screens, and so on and so forth. Now imagine uh, if you have downloaded this or installed, it will appear in your ID. So there's my ID here. Uh, for those of you who have don't know about Forge earlier, uh, Forge is also available here in your ID itself in case you want to access any plugin you can access those directly from uh, the Forge inbuilt into your ID as well. So that's the same plugin. So use this way or the other way, but go ahead and try to install it. In my case, I've already installed this plugin in my ID, so I can look for it. Once you install, it will appear something like this. You can open the uh, module application. This is basically an application by itself. So to use this outdoc, you have to click on open this in browser, this button, and you it takes you there. So I'm already logged in with my ID. It's the welcome page. But basically what you can do is go to eSpace pages or solutions. That's where it shows you the list of applications you have. Something like this. And uh, look for the application for which you want to generate the uh, documentation. So let's say in my case, I want to generate for order approval. That's a mobile application. Documentation is generated. And I can open the documentation to see what's inside. So it has uh, following things. That's the index page. There's information on the processes, data model, actions, integrations, and many other things. And uh, that's how the content looks like. So overview, that's the application, workflow process, if there are any, and blocks, screens, actions, client actions, data model, a lot of stuff is there for you to use as a base. Of course, uh, a developer, a team should keep on adding more information to this to make this document more comprehensive. Now, the quality of this document, this auto document, depends on the information that you provide while creating all of these artifacts. What I mean is, let me go back to my ID. Let's say this is an application for which documents has to be created. You will see that each of the artifacts, for example, I'm on the interface, main flow, and these are all these screens. Each of these artifacts have a property called description, title, and things like that. Even like if you go to server actions, they have all of these properties everywhere and same thing for entities as well. So it really depends while creating these artifacts, the developer has provided what kind of information and these things later on will be captured in the outdoor documentation. Thanks for watching.